So I feel, man, between The Weeknd and Lil Uzi Vert, they done dropped about five deluxes. Am I wrong? I feel like they've dropped five deluxes. We got Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert Deluxe. Then he has some bonus tracks that we didn't even hear from the snippets from Instagram Live. Then we had The Weeknd dropped After Hours. Then he had After Hours Deluxe. Now he got After Hours Deluxe bonus tracks. I... You know what? At this point, I'm not mad at it. All right, I'm, I'm cool. I'm glad that we got a lot of weekend, man. You guys definitely know how I felt about After Hours when it initially came out, man. There was only two tracks I really didn't like on there. Still apply. Same two tracks still have not grown on me. I've been jamming. You know, the intro grown on me, though. The intro has definitely slid up to my top three. But um, Escape from L.A. is still my favorite track on there. I, I feel like, should I even do an intro? Like, should, we should just listen to this. It's only three tracks. I'm not going to, do, you know, Ben fucking talks about it. We did it. You know, let's just get right into this. I want to talk what I just said, you know? Because cause I'm just one. Now there's 21, there's 22 tracks on here. There is now 22 tracks on this, on this, on this project. Like, and I, track 15, nothing compares. And the cinematic shit going on, huh? From the snippet on what's that called? If we try to get we make the same mistakes. Oh my goodness. How does how does he keep doing it? How does The Weeknd keep making great music? I don't understand. I, like, because, I, look, I'm, I'm okay with this. Look, I know a lot of you guys got mad at me because I didn't like any for, in your eyes, for your eyes, what for your eyes only, whatever the track is called. All right, you guys, you like, it's all growing. It did not grow on me, all right? And a lot of you guys got really mad about it. That was your focal point right there. Like, Dev loved the whole album, but he didn't like in your eyes. Look, I'm not mad at that. You guys can be mad at me. Okay, it's opinions are opinions. But I'm not mad. I'm not. I don't mind his Starboy shit. But when he makes shit like this, bro, first of all, where did he get that beat from? Who gave him that beat? But I've been stuck inside this place for days on end. Intoxicated. Oh my god. Man, I just, I just want to know personally, man. Like, first of all, that might be the best track I've heard on here. Escape from LA. Still, the reason why I still say a lot, like After Hours, uh, not After Hours. The what's the what's the Alone again? That's what the first track was called. And then Escape from LA. The reason I say those two tracks are still kind of the best tracks is because the transitions were just so crazy, giving you kind of just different sounds and different feelings, different wavelengths, different. You know, it just it was just different emotions going on through those tracks. But this right here, straightforward to the point. No. You know that bitch was hitting, bro. I just don't understand how. Hold on, nigga. Y'all already know what a nigga about to do with this bitch. I don't know what I'm about to do. Let me just off stop blizzard for a nigga start crying, dog. Like that. I need to go to the car, bro. I need to go in the, I need to drive, bro. Like, I really want to get in the car. Y'all know I got the coupe. You know what I'm saying? I got the coupe. I really want to get in the car and I want to feel this. Alright, I would I, this, this That shit kinda go crazy, bro. That shit go crazy. No, they go bad. <laughs> that shit's so funny. PK funny. Oh 
my god, that was fire, bro. I don't even want to finish the track, bro. I'm gonna finish it after the video, but my goodness, that shit is. The next track we got is Missed You. All right, Missed You. Oh my goodness, that was fire. But I can't hold you responsible for the things I do. I said your name by mistake, played it off like I'm just gonna. For real, I, I felt that. Like, uh, I hurt myself a hundred times just to feel something in my soul. Just to know you're a human, you know what I'm saying? Just to know that you still got some type of emotion. Because a lot of people really don't know. You know, you sometimes you get so lost in the savage and so lost in the cold hardness that you really don't know if you still is a human being. So sometimes you got to apply some hurt to yourself just to know if you are still human. And that's what The weekend did because he was going through little dark times, you know? Can't knock it even though I knew what's behind that door. I feel that too. You can't knock it even though I know what's behind that door. Like we all know what's on the other side. Alright, sometimes for the most part, a lot of us know what's on the other side. But we don't give a fuck. We you know what? Let us in. Shit, the boogeyman could be on the other side of the door, right? You walk in that door, you be like, oh, open the door, bitch. I'm trying to boogie. Who give a fuck? Open the door. Boogeyman, we trying to boogie. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one care about that, all right? We know what's going on. We know the hurts on the other side. We want the hurt. Well, I miss you. Yes, it's true. I should have known not to let you go. Let you go. See, this definitely sounds like a mix of a Starboy, though. This is definitely some Starboy mixing. That track right there, man. Look, 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 look. I, like I said, again, like, like, like I said, look, we all know what's on the other side of the door, all right? <laughs> like, for real, bro. Like, for real, for real. Like, we know, like, well, we know what's on the other side. We know we're going to get hurt. But sometimes, who cares? Sometimes we we want the hurt, all right? We're like, yo, hurt. Come talk to me. One-on-one, -on -one, come talk. Look, I, look, that is the craziest comparison I ever said on this channel, but that is so true. If the boogeyman is on the other side of the door, <laughs> some niggas would be like, shit, the boogeyman, open the door, bitch. We trying to boogie. <laughs> boogie, boogie. I'm Boogie Dev, you know what I'm saying? Boogie Man, Boogie Dev, you know, let me in. So I just don't understand why, like, people just... <laughs> well, no, I understand why people, because we all toxic as fuck. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's crazy because The weekend, he just knows. He, he he does this to himself, too, a lot, man. You gotta understand. He does this to himself a lot. He gives himself a lot of content, but he does it to himself, all right? And sometimes it's self-inflicting it's self -inflicting pain, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what he does. And he wouldn't be making his mute. Look, again, I be telling y'all, bro. Hurt Weekend is the best weekend. Bella, arigato gozaimas. Selena Gomez, arigato gozaimas. I'll be trying to tell y'all, look, we thank you. We are grateful. We are eternally grateful. We are grateful for you giving this man the hurt because when you give him the hurt, he give us he give us the fire, all right? Hurt fire. I'm cool with that. As fucked up as that sound, I'm cool with him being hurt because he gonna give us the fire. And the last track we got is Final Lullaby. sound like man y'all ever seen that movie Susie Q it, da, da. like it was on Disney Channel Susie Q you guys remember when that was with the girl that she uh she passed away but she was a ghost and she was following a high school kid then he fell in love with her it was the pink power ranger y'all remember uh Kimberly Lee Johnson that was her name man what was what's her name the, the, the pink power ranger Kimberly something her name, her name was actually Kimberly I don't know her name right, anyways um you know and it sounds like kind of this song like you know like an old school is it old, old school pop? What am I thinking of a pop? What what brand was Elvis? What what what, what do you count Elvis as? All right. What is it? What what genre is that? Get in the comments below. Pop rock. And I can make you say Whoops, my bad. This is the one where he's singing the most, you know? Alright. That's crazy, man. Like... I mean, it, it doesn't... For me, it really doesn't change what I feel about the album because I still feel the same way about the album, you know, from 
well, I have, well, I've listened, actually, I've listened to the extra bonus tracks because they weren't really bonuses. They were kind of just mixes. Um, kind of like what Tokyo Drift did with uh, She Likes to Move. You guys remember that from that soundtrack. But I think that for him to add these three tracks, it kind of just more solidified how fire After Hours is. A lot of people were kind of just on the on the ropes about After Hours saying that, you know, people were saying this is his best album, which I still don't agree with. I still think House of Balloons is his best album. Hey, House of Balloons reaction is up. If you guys want the throwback reaction is up, go check that out. You know what I'm saying? Full video on Patreon. But if you guys... But a lot of people, for me, man, it's just more of the connection, more of the experience I got with House of Balloons, more of a darker vibe. I know a lot of us love darker music, you know, um, hence why we like the old Travis Scott. Whether you like Rodeo, Days Before Rodeo, you know, Upper Echelon, whatever you like from Travis Scott, it's always older because I feel like, you know, that's when he was darker. Same thing goes for The Weeknd. But um, again, I didn't mind his Starboy. I love Starboy. Starboy was one of my favorite projects from um, The Weeknd. And I also think that with him adding elements from Starboy, him adding elements from you know, you know, Kiss Land and adding elements from, you know, House of Balloons. He just, I feel like he had the whole package on After Hours, kind of giving the OG fans and the newer fans, you know, a, a, a bit of Able, you know what I'm saying? Different sides of Able. And I think that we all appreciate it. That's what we appreciate it. Like, again, a lot of you guys like In Your Eyes, a guy of you guys like the Save Me track. I don't like that. But that's cool, though, because I still like the other 12, 13 tracks on the album. So that's not a bad thing. And again, now it's three more. Now I like 16 tracks. I feel like this right here, man, that, that track right there, uh, what, what was it called? Um, what was it? Was uh, Nothing Compares. I, I listened to about 10 seconds of the snippet and then I stopped myself. But when he came into the actual verse, man, he killed that straight to the point. Again, nothing exciting production-wise about that track. You know, like when I say exciting, I mean how, how we had on um, Alone Again and how we had on Escape from L.A., how there was just different transitions in the track. There was nothing, you know, exciting or different about Nothing Compares, but it just got straight to the point. I don't know where that theatric kind of sound came from. You know, it was just, I don't know where that shit came from, but that shit was fire. That shit was hitting. Get in the comments below. Let me know where that's from. I just think that, that that was the best out of the three. Nothing compares. And then when I slowed it down, bro, y'all saw me, bro. When I slowed it down, bro, it was taking me. I was transcending, bro. It was taking me to a different element, man. Shout out to Strellas. Strellas always doing her, you know, his thing, her thing, whatever it is at this point. You know, that at this point, that is just sell. You guys know that, right? That the, 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 because that is just sell. I, I can't. Even, I don't even know what what that looked like. I just know that sell. That's who he is. He sell. Anyways, um, I just I think that man, like with these three tracks, man, it just it, it solidified it. That's all I'm gonna say about it, man. I'm gonna get too much. I already talked about it. Um, a score, man. If I had to give it a score now, man, it'd definitely be a. From what I've heard, because I've definitely been listening to my fair share of After Hours, um, I would nine out of ten, man. Like honestly, nine out of ten, man. Uh, if if it didn't have Save Your Tears on here and In Your Eyes was the only track that was going, if it didn't have Save Your Tears, it would literally be, it, it would be fire. It would it would be close to a nine and a half out of ten. It would, it would be a close to a nine and a half out of ten if it didn't have Save Your Tears. But um, that's just how I feel about it, man. Get in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what was your favorite track out of the three. Again, if you want my full reaction, I'm going to post this full reaction because that 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 definitely needs to be seen, man. I was I was feeling some type of way with some of these tracks, and y'all, I can't just cut that out, man. But if you want the full reaction, it will be on Patreon. House of Balloons, man. After Hours full reaction on Patreon, or you can go click in the hour. Uh, it's gonna be right here. It should be right here after the video ends. You guys can watch that. I got those videos up, man. And I can look again. The weekend, he shows us that he can continuously grow and continuously do his thing in music. He can continuously evolve, and I'm, I'm here for it, man. Again, I always compare him to like a, a, a minor, like a demigod MJ, because MJ is a god. All right, I feel like he's the demigod MJ. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He's Scenarius out here. If you guys know who Scenarius is, he's Scenarius out here. He's out here just doing his Hercules. You know what I'm saying? He, he just, he's establishing his greatness. One album at a time, one project at a time. We'll keep it like that, man. Get a comment box below. Let me know what you think. Hey, 3,000 likes, get new vinyl on the wall. You guys see the vinyl filled up? Hey, look, three, new vinyl on the wall. You guys know what that one is, right? Yeah, new vinyl on the wall, 3,000 likes, man. Um, Thursday, I know I said 4,000 likes, but hey, House of Blues still need 3,000 likes, man. If you guys want to go get that 3,000 likes, man, we get that Thursday out. That is not going to be edited out, by the way, in a full reaction. So, yeah, don't mind me if I'm uh, fucking going crazy because I sometimes my mind just be, yeah, I'm still rambling. Right. Anyways, like always, man, been fucking talking too much, man. A straight solid. That is a, that is the deluxe I wanted. That is the solid deluxe. I'm glad that he released this, man. I'm happy, man. All the XL fans, I know you guys are happy out there as well. On to the next album. We still got Drake. We still got uh, Kendrick Lamar. We still got Kid Cudi. We still got Isaiah Rashad. We, still, we got so much music in 2020, man. I'm so happy about it. But to the next time, this be with Dev. Like always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Don't forget to follow me.
on social media. Let me join here. And uh, yeah, till the next time we out. Peace. I don't have a special guy.